Hi guys, tonight's project is a gravity powered boat. Very simple, same as my gravity powered cars. It will be a tripod or a pyramid to actually support the weight with a pulley. And instead of wheels I'll use two milk bottle or plastic milk bottles as the floats and some sort of a propeller to push it along. I've had a bit of a dig in my bits and pieces and found this. I'll put a link in the video description as to where this came from but I should be able to use it as a paddle wheel sort of thing. So I'll mount that down the back somewhere Got a bicycle spoke there that we'll use for the axle. And then attach a bit of string to it that goes up to the pulley and down to the weight and see if we can get it to pull it forwards. For the pulley at the top of the tower I'm going to use some milk bottle tops. That'll be the pulley. I'll also glue some on the outside so that we've got a bearing surface to put a, a shaft through the middle to hold it in place. So I'll actually use four bottle tops. The two in the middle will be the pulley and the two on the outside are just giving us um, as I say a bearing surface. There's our pulley. I've got some flower canes here from the garden centre. I think I've got four of them if I look carefully enough. So that will be the tower and then I'll hot glue the pulley at the top for the string to go round for the weight to hang from. I've just joined the two plastic bottles together with a piece of plastic Corex, I think it's called. Just hot glued it straight on top. I'll make four holes, one in each corner for the tower and add that to the back. I should be able to adjust the stability by actually putting water in here so that it doesn't tip over quite so easily. We'll find out. There it is in the bath but I've already discovered we've got a basic design fault. There's nothing to stop it tipping forwards. There's not enough um, longitudinal stability. So the easiest fix there will be to get another milk bottle and stick it out the front somewhere to stop the front dipping in. That's the modified boat. So now we've got three milk bottle cartons or plastic milk bottles. So I'll put the camera on the tripod and see if it works. Obviously now it's so much longer <laughs> we've got no distance to travel in the bath. All we'll be able to see is whether it actually starts moving.
pretty slow, but it is moving. go. Let's pack as well as I can show you in the bath. I don't think that paddle is very efficient for this sort of work. I think an ordinary flat paddle would do much better. But I did promise that I would try that out in a boat at some time, so we've done that. I guess I'd better do a summary. I've brought it down into the kitchen because you can't really see it because it's white against the white bath. So. We're down in the kitchen just so we can see it easier. What have we got? We got three four pint plastic milk bottles held together by that's uh, Corex, I think you call that sort of plastic, fluted plastic. Uh, the tower is made from bamboo flower canes. The top pulley is four milk bottle tops glued together. The axle going through there is just a barbecue skewer. And there's another bit of barbecue skewer there to give it a bit more rigidity. Uh, then we just got ordinary string with a lead weight and a paddle wheel. Look at the video description and I'll tell you where that comes from. I don't think that's very efficient at all for this purpose. It's designed to work in the opposite direction, to blow stuff out, not to actually capture water. That's sitting on a bicycle spoke that's held in place with some uh, ball pen tubes, just hot glued to the bottom of the boat. And then we've got a couple of rudders cut from some spare milk bottle cartons. That's just to keep it going straight. And that's it. A fairly simple build but much too big to demonstrate in my bath and also I think if I was going to go anywhere else I'd change out that paddle wheel because I think that's pretty useless for this purpose. But that's it. Job done.